Hey, what's up? I'm Mark and Delgado. How do you expect to find yourself a lady friend? You think all the brainy girls you like are at the bar? No. They're at home watching Mad Men and surfing Match.com. My father used to say, let the game come to you. Let the game come to you? What the fuck does that mean? What do you think it means? <laughs> oh, don't do this. Do you know that the sports metaphors offend my delicate homosexual sensibilities? Okay, enough about me. So why don't you tell me about your week? Okay. Well, uh, I love this thing. When I was a kid, I got my very first camera, and I took it everywhere with me. I even slept with it. And in school, we had to do this project on our most important being. You know, kids talked about their mothers, hamsters, whatever. I talked about my camera. Who gave you the camera? Oh, uh, I, I don't remember. But uh, here they are. You just hit the button to go to the next one. That's the guy at the bodega at my corner. He sings to this crazy Arabic rock station. Or actually, he, he might be praying. I don't, I don't really know. Oh, that's our next door neighbor. She is a royal fucking bitch to my mother. And last summer, I crazy glued nails outside of her garage, and she punctured three of her tires. Yeah. I was particularly proud of that one. Keep going. Oh, I took that one from the Brooklyn Bridge. You see there's Lady Liberty in the back. It looks cool with the sun like that, right? Oh, that's this bar I was at really late one night. That guy, he's a homo, but he's got, you know, three kids and a wife at home won't admit it. And that chick is totally in love with him. Oh, uh, that, that's nothing. You can just keep going. Uh, so they were both there really late. You know, she kept trying to talk to him. I just wanted to shake her and be like, Sugar, he's gay! <laughs> uh, but I think that's it. Pretty rad, right? So which night was this? Uh, Friday, I think. Uh, no, it was Saturday. It says Tuesday. Where? On the camera. Oh, you know, that calendar is way off. It's been off ever since I got it. Just never bothered to get it fixed. You like the pictures? Which bar was that? Doesn't matter. Was it the one that Josh and Ray found? You know what your problem is? You think that all art has to be context. That is so bourgeois. Was this Josh and Rafe's bar? Yes. Did you take these last night? Yes. Did you go to school today? No. Hey, I'm Mark and Delicato. Have you ever noticed that in these original fantasies, your father's always someone different, but your mother stays the same? What are you talking about? You have this idea of who your birth father might be. Sometimes he's a novelist. Sometimes he's a race car driver. Today he's a doctor. But your birth mother, she's always a degenerate. A crap art. So? Just pointing it out. Jesse. You want to hear something crazy? No. No? I'd rather we focus on you for the time being. Put it away, please. I like holding it. 
I think it's distracting you from concentrating on yourself. Jesse. Why don't you give me the phone? No. I like holding it. Here. Hello? Uh, this is this is Jesse is this Jesse Alfano? If it is, um uh, if this is the Jesse Alfano who was born in King's Country Hospital on December fourteenth, nineteen ninety four, well then um uh, my name is Karen Scott, and my number is 914-666-0984, and um, <clears throat> I think I'm your birth mother. I hope you'll call me back. And a save message. To erase this message, press... So when did you get this? Yesterday. I picked it up after school. Have you returned the call? No. Have you discussed this with anyone? Um, no. Why are you nodding? Oh, was I just nodding? Yes! Like, like this all makes perfect sense to you or something. No, I think it's just the way I process information. Okay. It's okay for you to nod when you process information, but if I tap my fists together, I have to be medicated. That's not the reason you're on Ritalin. That's part of it. Well, listen, you don't take it anyway, and you've made a healthy profit off of it, so quit complaining. Nice. Let's return to voicemail. Yeah, well, this must be like a therapist's wet dream or something. What did you feel when you heard that message? I don't know, Doc. Confused, betrayed, like the the whole weight of the world was now resting on my slender shoulders. What did I feel? Nothing. Look, this woman is a fucking stranger. How did she even get my number? It's a good question. Yeah, well, I should call the phone company. Hello, Verizon, I'd like to file a complaint. You gave my fucking cell phone number to a fucking crack whore who gave birth to me, and now she's fucking calling me. What am I supposed to do? What do you want to do? I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, try to tell me how you're feeling. <sighs> Why? I think it's important for you to articulate what's going on in your head. There's nothing going on. I swear. It's all static. Static. Yeah. It happens to me sometimes. Static. Like all these voices in my head that I can't quite make out. Uh, like a radio station playing far away with bad connection. Is, is that what's happening now? Yes. I'm sorry.